All right, today, guys, we have. Hold on. There you go. All right. So we got a Camaro Z01. Beautiful car. Carbon scoop in the hood. It's got the wheels, everything. Z01 package. I think it's supercharged but we're going to be doing the clutch on this thing so stay tuned guys and you know hopefully it helps you change your clutch on your z01 camaro or other camaros or corvettes so let's get it all right and save the manuals Got a stick shift. So let's get her started. So we got a whole bunch of parts. Some type of certificate or something. Warranty stuff. And we got the clutch itself. Got some type of device here. I think that's the one he changed this metal piece on there. Um, other cool stuff alignment tool and then these are the bolts throw bearing i mean uh pilot bearing and then uh that's the fresh hose from the sleeve cylinder to the master and i can't get this thing out but it seems like it comes with a flywheel too so let's get it all right, first things first, we gotta race the vehicle so that we can start taking stuff off. So let's get it. So I know I knew it wasn't gonna be as easy as I thought because it has cooler stuff on here, whole bunch of cooling uh, hoses and stuff. So I'm gonna have to start by removing the exhaust. That's the first thing that has to come down on this thing. So let's get that done and then keep going. Let's get it. So it's off this. now. Then you go to the chain. Exhaust is off. Now let's keep going. All right, guys. So now that we have that exhaust off, um, this thing's actually hitting here. This O2 sensor. So I'm gonna see if I can loosen this, twist it a little bit, and then put it back in there. Help this guy out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Next, um, look, we got pine cones in here. Uh, we're gonna take this cover off. And then we're gonna take the dry shaft off the, you know, the this place, and we're gonna mark it just so we don't have no confusions. So let's get it. All right, guys. So um, I took off all the covers, like the one up here too. Um, 
And then I disconnected all the wiring from the trans, all the sensors over here. Everything came out good, the clips and everything. Uh, it's a pain in the butt over here. You might think you don't have room, but you can push this wiring to the side back here. You just gotta push this back a little bit and then just shove them all along here because so you'll get them out the way. You don't, you know, mess them up or anything. Um, next, I'm gonna be taking off these uh, hoses. So what I do, I uh, pretty much, you know, take out the sleeve that goes on there uh, on all three. And then uh, there's a little pin in here. You gotta pop them out and disconnect them. And then we'll be ready. Oh, and then we have one up there too for the clutch, that little one. That we have to disconnect also. And then drive shot has to come out. That's next. the dry shaft off we can access the shifter box over here uh, we might have to go inside upstairs on the car to disconnect the, the shifter and stuff so let's get that done real quick let's all right get... so we removed that uh the gauge pod thing uh, well, i don't even know why i disconnected this it's all good putting it back right now but yeah, there's one connector there that connects everything. Now, I saw a video online that said to just jack on this. And you can't just jack on this. So what I did is you turn this way and down, and then you expose a bolt right there. And that bolt right there, it's one of these star-looking things. And then you remove that, and then... Take out the shifter. Once that bolt's removed, and this is a T25. So that bolt's a T25, then you just slide this out and pops out, but whatever. Now we're gonna remove those tents around the transmission. Let's get it, or around the tunnel, around the shifter. Once those bolts are removed, this thing just falls down, so. When you put it back on, just lift up right here and then put them on. Uh, now we're gonna go down there and see what's going on. All right, so now we can take off the bolts around the transmission. I lowered the transmission, disconnected the um, throttle bearing here with the uh, slave cylinder. It's all, all in one unit, so it disconnects from there. I shoved the hose up there with a a clamp on it so it doesn't keep dripping. I put plugs on all the areas where it was leaking. Um, I put this line hanging from here, zip tied it there, and then this one fell down when I took off the transmission mount bracket, and uh, I zip tied it to the lift there so it doesn't come down, and I also put a plug on it. So everything has a plug. This came down, so. Uh, now we have to just remove the bolts around the trans and get this bad boy out, get the trans jack under here and get this bad boy out. So let's get it.
All right, guys, so I got the stupid transmission out. The thing is such a pain in the ass to get out. Um, so you can see one of the dial pins stayed in there and then the other one came out. Um, but yeah, we got to the clutch. Now I'm gonna remove the, the clutch and then, you know, put in the new one. Um, hopefully it comes with a flywheel, but if it doesn't, then I have to get this one resurfaced. So let's check it out. All right, so this clutch is out. Um, pretty cool, pretty nice clutch. It's still good. Um, but we're gonna replace it because the customer wants it replaced. Um, I was checking out the way this thing goes and I don't know, I gotta figure it out still. Instructions are here, so let's get it. Okay, so here's the clutch kit, fresh. Um, just gotta take off the clutch and then throw in. It does come with the flywheel, so we're gonna be replacing that also. Flywheel coming out. All right, with the flywheel off, um, that's have a mark here. I don't know if the other one had a mark, but with it off, you can see we're gonna torque these bolts down real quick and then we're gonna measure the thing because we, we need a spacer on this thing, it's, it says, um, to measure it. So you can tell that this thing's fatter. So we are gonna need that spacer that came with it. But I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna tor torque this down um, and then measure it. So yeah, as expected, the stock, exhaust, uh, the stock uh, clutch kit is taller than the one we're putting on so they tell you to measure it right here so it says you know if it sticks out whatever but we know we need it because it's just common sense you know we need that piece in there that little uh green thing so that it can stick out this can stick out farther and is able to touch that clutch with the throw bearing so this thing comes off too we brought a new one this is the throw bearing and then this is the other piece that comes off with these 12s so let's take those off and get this thing out actually you have to take this piece off first mm -hmm. so let's get it all right, since we figured that out, before we do that transmission thing, the throw bearing and sleeve cylinder, um, I'm gonna put on the flywheel real quick into the car and torque it down. So let's do that real quick. All right, so I think you got the wrong, we got the wrong kit because this doesn't fit, doesn't line up at all. So I put the bolts on here because I was trying to put it over there in the car and it doesn't line up anywhere. Uh, it's supposed to line up. So if you turn it, can't even line it up. It's got more holes too. So you can see this one's got nine holes. Two, four, six, eight, nine holes. This one has two, four, six, eight holes. So, doesn't fit, man. All right, guys. So, the new clutch came in. I hope this is the right one. This, guys, uh, we had already put this on, on this. And we noticed that it was ripped over here. And this monster company, whatever they call themselves, monster clutch, decided to send us back the same thing that was ripped up. We didn't even touch this. And they send us this ripped up, and then they send the... They changed, they changed the, the thing back. We left it on there and they changed it back and they send us back this uh, messed up uh, cylinder. They send us the wrong pilot bearing too. And I'm not even sure if the clutch is, the, it, it's, it's the, you know, I'm gonna check the flywheel real quick. So let's check it out. All right, at least they sent us the right flywheel this time. They said they were gonna swap out the whole clutch, but I think they just, all they did was just swap out the flywheel because we still have the same numbers and everything. Um, these people aren't smart. They, I would have just shipped back this 
the flywheel, you know, instead of doing the whole weight. And, you know, the parts that they sent me, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to get this job done today. Oh, almost tripped there. Um, we're going to get this job done. We're going to remove this, all this stuff that we already had put back together just to push the car out. I had to push the car in myself this morning. Bad back and freaking calves hurt and everything. I uh, messed them up at the gym the other day, I think. I don't know. My calves are, are hurting, though. Um, so now... Let's take all these off and try to get that flywheel in here. All right, with all that stuff removed, we can access, I think we can access the crank, the crank bolt there so that we can uh, torque down the bolts on this side. So let's get our flywheel and everything ready to come in here and let's get going. All right guys, so I disassemble the entire thing. I kept it how it is. These things are marked uh, twos and three. So all these have the same marks. So don't lose them in that order. Uh, that comes out and then we're gonna start putting it all together in the car. So let's start by starting to put together the flywheel on the car, torque it down with the boat supplied by the, by the people here, Monster. Never heard of them, but I heard they're, it looks good quality stuff, but they just gotta up their game with uh, customer service. And if they mess up, or see something wrong, just freaking, yeah, I don't know, dude. Fix it. Fix it, guys. Let's get it. All right, to disassemble this piece to come out and replace it with this, we already have done that. And these people took it off and pretty much, you know what? I'm gonna swap out the one from the other transmission onto this one, just because, um, the boot is ripped, so we don't want that boot to be ripped. So we just want to swap that out with the other one. I hope, yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so these guys tell you to measure something on the transmission. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it up on the jack and uh, get those measurements first before I do anything else. Because these guys are just such a pain in the ass. You guys suck. Monster clutch. You guys really suck. All right, camera went down. I was trying to show you guys how I put this thing on here. Freaking camera. All right, anyways. So now um, we're going to take all this stuff off the transmission and measure this stuff uh, just to make sure everything's good. All right, so what I did, I shoved the clutch in here just to see if it fits and pushed it where it's supposed to go. Oh, shoot. Not that way. But it was supposed to be, damn it. All right, yeah, so, right, so the clutch seems like it fits everything. I swapped out both uh, clutches. They have a, like a, a little, this one has a, it's a little skinnier. Um, it's actually uh, 0 0.090, um, you know, thinner. So uh, now we're going to keep going. Alright guys, so now we have the wheel, uh, the flywheel installed on there snug. Um, you want to torque it down first to 15 foot pounds, then 37, and then 74, I believe. Um, so let's do the next. Alright. With these torque down to um, seven, 74 foot pounds, um, now we can put it together, the, start assembling the, the clutch and stuff. So first, we're gonna shove in. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna line it up and everything. So 
Um, so the way I did this, I put a uh, one of these breaker bars on here with a 24 mil uh, socket and just let it rest here and I was able to torque everything down because it doesn't move. So that's how I got those tight. So let's keep going guys. All right, so this thing comes with a tool that lines this up. So you want to install it there. Cash come. Just like that and start um, installing the, the clutches and stuff. So we're gonna start with that one. And then this one. I think I have to get all the pieces. I don't know. Leave that there. Okay, we get these things. So this one's three. This one's one. And that's how it goes. So you gotta make sure that you have space between here when you uh, put it in. You, you can't put it in the other way. Or you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then this one. Make sure this goes transmission side out. And so this goes on here like this. Boom. Make sure everything stays nicely. Okay. Now we can put the pressure plate on there and the bolts. And the bolts need some uh, Loctite. So we're gonna put some Loctite in. So there is uh, a sequence in uh, three. So first is 20 and then you do crisscross um, and then you do 40 and then 52 foot pounds. So that's how you tie in these, the pressure play up. And now we can slide this in and out and remove it and everything's tight in there. Now we're ready to throw in our transmission. But before we do that, we have to replace the throw bearing assembly, sleeve cylinder, whatever they want to call it. So we're gonna get to that right now. All right, so I took the bolt out of the other bracket out here. It's an eight mil. I'm gonna take this one out. Boom. That's how you take those out. Save the bolts on the side, and this should just slide out slowly. Still not coming out. So the clip, I got it out somehow. I don't even know how, but I got it out. So now this piece should come out slowly. Boom. 
film. And now we got brake, brake fluid everywhere. And now you can slide this whole assembly out. And we're gonna use this housing for the new new part because you know what happened. So let's get it. Alright, we swapped over. Now we can just clean it up a little bit, make it look fresh. Um, now we don't have no tears. Uh, I think I know what happened. Alright guys, so I installed the uh, speed bleeder on this throw assembly. And now we're just going to slide it in there. Just like that. And I'm going to try to finesse it in here. Just like that. Yeah. That's how it should go. Everything's tight on it. I made sure that it was really, really tight. And now we're gonna throw these in there. All right, with that installed, now we can, uh, all right, I took that clip out. Now we can just slide it in there. Just like that. Insert the, the clip on there. So you guys can see, so once that clip is in there, just push it a little bit and make sure it doesn't come out. And that should be good now. And then install the, Pull the bolt over here that we took out. The 8 mil. And then our transmission is ready to be installed. So let's get it. Let's get it because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right, so I routed this hose this way and held it with a zip tie right here for now. Um, installed this, all that, we, we did that already. So she's ready to go in. I lube this up a little bit, the the stud here, uh, the aligning dowel pin, I think they're called. And then the other one I did over there in the car too. So now I'm gonna install it and see how it goes. Let's get it. Alright guys, so got the trans back on, the mount, the speed bleeder, hooked up all the wiring, uh, tucked everything uh, around, put all the lines in, um, put that uh, that connector in here with this clip um, and the hose up there. So we're pretty much 80% done I say. So now it's time to put a drive shaft on, the shield, the exhaust, uh, the shifter that goes in at, at when I put the stuff inside, but everything lines up on there. At least, yeah, should. Um, so yeah, let's get that done and keep going, guys. Let's get this thing finished. guys so uh, we got everything bolted up drive shaft zoom out a little bit all right guys so everything's tightened up now lines all this stuff I actually still have to put um, one of these brackets that's over there here four bolts in there um, but everything else is tight and ran how it's supposed to be ran 
Um, so let's uh, finish up with the exhaust and bleed the clutch master uh, slave cylinder. Let's get it. I got some reinforcements and we're gonna install this uh, exhaust. Let's get it. All right, now that the exhaust is back on, everything looks good. I actually routed this a little bit uh, you know, cause this was hitting up here. You could tell it was marking. So I moved it. So he doesn't break his O2 sensor or anything like that. So we moved everything. This wire is pretty tight right here. It's from the, the one gauge. There are a few ratio gauge and it's, uh, it's a little tight, but it's all right. So gotta find out where it's being grabbed from up here or something. All right. Let's get it. And then put put that pedal down all the way down and crank the car. Put the uh, clutch pedal all the way down and, and start the car. See if you can do it. Huh? Yeah, put the clutch down and then crank it. came out great uh just got to test drive the car and bring it back over here and i put the leader this way i routed it like this like a moon so it's pretty fresh um the car sounds really good and uh like i said uh, about to take it for a test drive see what's going on uh with it and keep going let's get it guys thank you guys for watching hope this video helped you out um and it was just a crazy you know a crazy uh job but we got it done it's a little difficult um if you don't know what you're doing so like subscribe hit that notification button to get more updates on all the builds that we got going on so let's get it have a good one god bless